Moving now to our next guest, it's Carol Vorderman, MBE, a household name here in the UK, best known for co-hosting the game show, Countdown. She's a newspaper <laughs> columnist and author of educational and diet books. Bringing maths to the masses, Carol has been an idol of mine for a long time. Oh, I love a bit of Countdown, don't you? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad that was your bit. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Carol is a passionate communicator on all things STEM. She read engineering at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, and went there as one of the youngest women ever admitted at the time. It really is the one and only Carol Vorderman. I'm really excited for talking to you. You are such a well-known ambassador, not only for maths, but I think for STEM generally, certainly in the UK, but in other countries as well. Do you see yourself as a difference maker? Um, I think now, you know, now I'm older. When I, I started on television nearly 40 years ago, uh, when I was 21, oh. I'm 60 now. And, um, I, and I didn't see that. I mean, I was just, you know, 21 year old getting a job really. Um, and then things kind of went from there. So I suppose anybody who's been around for that length of time, it goes like the wind, let me tell you, like the clouds. <laughs> I think you, I, I believe that you have a duty to, to give back. Your story, free school meals, comprehensive, getting to Cambridge, that must inspire a lot of young people, particularly young girls, to go, do you know what? If she can do it, I can do it too. There's a lot of doing down of women uh, generally, uh, which is very sexist stuff. So it's very difficult for me to get my story into the newspapers if I wear a bikini your front page yeah. right it's standard and uh you know if you do anything like that oh what does somebody wear what does somebody look like is how women are still portrayed yeah. um you know I've been ambassador for the air cadets for years I've, I've done you know I, I've got to go on a zoom conference with some astronauts at NASA in a moment because I'm on the board of directors of the uh, challenger centers and so on and those, that's actually the reality of my life. Try and get that into the media. Oh, gee, well, you know. And therefore, this whole role of women who are engineers or into STEM, I still find it very frustrating, really, really, really frustrating. Yeah, I do as well. Would you still encourage young girls to go into STEM, though? That I think if engineering at school was pushed more, but I think you get many, 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 many more children, um, male and female, wanting to do engineering if it were available at a younger age. Much as you would love a student to do a degree in engineering and then become an engineer, I think it should be sold as this really is the golden key. Uh, and you know, people now with a science, good physical natural sciences degree or uh, an engineering degree, they can, you know, they can just kind of write their own check, can't they? I've got a question for you. As a maths teacher, kids ask me great questions all the time. What's the best question you've been asked? Well, I mean, you know, I teach half a million children their maths at the moment on the Maths Factor, which is my online math school. Um, and they ask all sorts of questions, but they're quite innocent ones. So they would say, uh, what's your favourite number and why? Which is a very difficult question, actually. That is. What is your favourite number? Well, I'm never quite sure. I answer differently every time it's on my mood. <laughs> if I'm feeling a bit lazy, I say number nine because it's a magical number and there are lots of tricks mm. you can do with it. And then I can show them all of those tricks. So uh, I would say nine. You know, I, I suppose I'm always looking for patterns, really. And I would say nine because there are so many easy patterns to spot. Oh, well, Carol, it's been so lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time and all of your amazing input. Thank you.